This is Paul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I've been wanting to uh, make some babies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it involves some individuals that want to volunteer to conceive babies with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> quite often I would I would pick somebody that a lot of other people wouldn't pick. Yes. Mm. But I needed to do some interviewing. Yeah. <laughs> and now uh, let's see here. Yes. Uh, making babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I know what's involved. Yes. Mm -hmm. The problem is I'm being obstructed from conceiving. Yes. Uh, with those that volunteer. Mm -hmm. Uh, children, right, because you have a conflict of interest. <laughs> now, um, this parenting magazine, yes, has what's known as pediatricians. Yeah. And, uh, their way of doing things. Oh, oh, oh. Could you get me all of those involved in the American Academy of Pediatrics? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, they're a group of pediatrician moms, all with kids 10 and under, uh, weighing on important health issues and deliver advice for real life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of pediatricians would say that there is a kidnapping issue. Yes. When you intentionally deprive an individual of not consenting to a dissolution of marriage. <clears throat> And all of them are mandatory reporters, yes. and they should be familiar with what is known as child abuse, <clears throat> child neglect, and child exploitation. Pew. Now, um, this idea that you are not going to do what the law says. I just need to know all the pediatricians. <laughs> um, there, there is a, a problem here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, the perks of momming with a medical degree, yes, mm -hmm. they would say that they know how to treat children, you know, what your kid, why your kids are crying from ear pain, yeah, schlepping to the doctor's office could not be less than appealing, yeah, <laughs> that's when every mom fantasizes, what if I were a pediatrician, yep, yeah. could check him or her out myself, <clears throat> check, now, maybe I need some pediatricians. Yes. I told you about that clinic where we do the STD training, for the the, S, the sexually transmitted disease testing of those that wear clothes to the office. Yes. And then the STD testing for the men that they have sex with in foreign nations <laughs> so that there are no sexually transmitted diseases. Yes. <laughs> Uh, being on those that don't wear clothes in the office. Yes. But there are some women that I do know. Yes. That I don't interview for. If I don't know you, I'm not going to ask you to do this. No, don't ask you. <laughs> that wear clothes in the office because they don't have sex with anyone other than their individual spouse. Yes. <laughs> or any other person they meet in whatever foreign nation that I go to. Yes. But they are not involved. Now, I have this five-star homeschool yes. that involves large numbers of seven-year-old girls. 